I've got them, yeah. Yeah, I've got my sandwiches. Yeah. I've got to go, Mum. All right, love you. Bye. Part that for me, babe. Got a bullet to launch. So in this video, we're going to cover the new Viesman 100 Combi Bowler. This is a brand new product that's just come out this week. Just before we head into this video, if you're in the market for a new boiler, head over to heatable.co.uk. We'll be able to get a fixed price and have it installed within 24 hours. So firstly, we're going to cover some of the key features of this product. First of all, being the design. If you are familiar with the range of Viesman products, you'll notice that this looks very... If you're familiar with the range of Viesman products, you'll notice that this new 100 looks very similar to the range topping 200 model. So the design of the product has moved on quite a lot from the old 100 model. It's now much more stylish. It's got this diamond edged case with a sort of a matte sparkle finish to the front cover, which we really, really like. I actually think it's one of the best looking boilers on the market right now. The display on the boiler is at the bottom here. It's actually a touchscreen LCD item. The boiler comes with its own Wi-Fi network it can transmit the Wi-Fi signal because the screen is plastic and not metal. Previous boilers have tried this and it hasn't worked that well because the metal has stopped the signal from transmitting. From the Wi-Fi interface, you can control the boiler, you can commission the boiler, and if you give Viesman or your engineer access, they can remotely diagnose any faults on the product. The boiler also has the ability to display specific components that failed rather than display rather than. The interface on the boiler is very smart. It will also display specific components that have failed within the product. Now, normal boilers, when they break down, will show you a generic fault code group, and this could cover multiple components. This boiler, if it did have a failure, would point out exactly the component that has failed and does remove the need to spend money on diagnosing faults. So a massive improvement in this boiler over the previous generation of 100 is the fact that it now includes something called Lambda Pro. Lambda Pro is a technology that's come from the 200 model range of products. What this does is the gas valve is constantly adjusting the gas and air mix provided into the burner. Now this is because not all gas is the same. The supply you get at home varies from time to time and also air has different densities depending on the temperature. The boiler detects this and it's constantly adjusting for the best quality and most efficient burn rate. Like the previous range of 100 combi boilers, the power outputs available remain the same. So we've got a 26 model, a 30 kilowatt model and a 35 kilowatt model. You might see these advertised differently as 19, 25 and 32. And this is because sometimes Viesman are quoting the central heating output, not the hot water output of the product. Dimensions wise, the boiler to us looks a lot bigger than it actually is, but it is only 700 millimeters high, 400 millimeters wide, and 360 millimeters deep. So it's only about 10 millimeters deeper than the previous model. It just looks a lot bigger because of the square edge design. If you upgrade to Viesman's VI thermostat, then we can pair this with your boiler, and then you can download Viesman's smart app where you can log in and control your boiler from anywhere. Here's some footage of the app in action. So on the home screen of the app, you've got different sections. The first one we're clicking into here allows you to adjust the temperature that you want the heating to be. At the top of the screen, it displays the current heating temperature. There's also options to set different schedules within the application. You can set different times at different temperatures on different days. The next section is the weather. So the application pulls in local weather data based on your geographical location. It then uses this data to optimize the boiler's performance. You also can see historical data of weather within your area. This section here allows us to adjust the domestic hot water temperature. So we can set the temperature we want it to be. And if we've got a system boiler, we can also set the times we want the hot water to come on and go off. There's also a further two additional tiles within the app. One of them is gas consumption. The other is electricity consumption. The boiler will measure how much energy it's using. And if you can use this to benchmark against the cost of your bills. 
We've also got a notification screen. So notifications will notify us of any major changes of our system. It also notifies of other users overriding your schedules. So one of the standout features of this product and definitely something that separates it from the competition is the fact that it's built and ready to accept a 20% mix of hydrogen and natural gas. Now, this scheme is being launched in certain areas of the UK at the moment where they're going to supply properties with this mix of 80% natural gas and 20% hydrogen. To use the scheme or to benefit from the scheme, you'll need a boiler that accepts that. This boiler is the one for you. It's just because I didn't try hard enough in school or because it's because it's I'm under pressure. So we've brought along the old 100, obviously placed it next. That's obvious. Thick. Okay, so we're going to look at some differences from the old product to the new product. So firstly, in terms of visuals, obviously this new one looks much sharper than its predecessor. So the screen on the old boiler, although it was still a touch screen, the actual menu options are quite basic. On the new product, we've got a much bigger screen and obviously, as we discussed earlier, the menu options are far more advanced. So dimensions of the product, height and width wise, they're identical at 700 high and 400 wide. The difference now comes from the depth of the product. The new model is about 10 millimeters deeper. However, visually, we think the new 100 looks a lot bigger than the old model. The general finish and the aesthetic of the product is much sharper. The case on the old boiler was shiny and glossy. The new case is a matte diamond finish. And it does have, although we can't capture it on screen, a bit of a sparkly effect, which we quite like. A bit of a sparkly effect, a bit of a sparkly effect, a bit of a sparkly effect. The pressure gauge has now gone from the old model. On this model, it's digital, although there is an analog gauge underneath on the valve body. Smells like a new car. So we've got the cases off both boilers and first things first, we can see this one's got no sound insulation and this one has got sound insulation. So it does reduce the noise of the product. Just to add to that as well, it's much heavier and much more sturdy. So now we've got the cases off the product, we can take a look inside both boilers. So. Watch your ass! Watch your ass! So now we've got the case off both boilers, we can take a look inside. So firstly, the heat exchanger in both products is from the same series that Wiesmann produce. It's got some slight different alterations and positions of sensors on the front. The expansion vessel is the same in both boilers as is the pump and the fan is very similar, although not identical. The overall case feels much more sturdy. The bracketry and componentry of the product are miles ahead in terms of quality. So now we're gonna cover a few downsides. Now, this has been pretty difficult because it's probably the best boiler on the market. However, we've managed to think of two. So like any combi boiler, even if you go for the range topping 35 kilowatt model, unless you've got a really good cold water flow rate, you're not gonna be able to run two showers at once. However, Wiesmann have also recently updated their new 111W model, which has all the features of the 100 combined with a 46 litre storage tank, meaning you can run up to three... <coughs> Couldn't breathe then. Run out of breath. Meaning you can run up to three showers at once to 18 litres a minute. So it's definitely... Meaning you can run up to three showers at once for up to 80... For up to... I get pains in my arm <laughs> from stress. Meaning you can run up to three outlets at once at about 18 litres a minute without the need for a separate boiler and a separate tank. Now, Wiesmann boilers are compact, but they're probably not compact. What? Now, although the dimensions of a Wiesmann boiler is quite compact, they're usually not covered fit boilers. This is quite deep at 360 millimeters. And if you need the additional standoff frame on the rear, if the pipes drop from the top, then that adds another 50 millimeters onto the boiler depth. 
The other thing with Eastman is their flue elbows are quite tall. So if your flue hole is sort of here, the boiler ends up quite low in the cupboard. They are releasing a shorter elbow and it is due to with us sometime mid-year. We are super excited about this boiler. <laughs> so hopefully this... <laughs> so we hope this has been useful. We hope this video has been useful in showing you some of the features of this. Is that, is that complicated? It's just a basic sentence that we'd say all the time. So we hope this video has been useful in showing you some of the features of the new Viesman 100 range of combi boilers. We are going to be launching the product in the coming weeks on the website, so do watch out for it. If you are in the market for a boiler, then head over to heatable.co.uk. We'll be able to get a fixed price for this product and have it fitted in as little as 24 hours. You're sacked too. Why? Because, because you do this all the time. Yeah, see, you did it again.